How the doody peeps? Well, welcome back to the channel. And we're still in Scotland. We've made it off, off of the Isle of Skies you saw last week. But now we're in, back in Glencoe. Got a night in Glencoe. So we're making, making the most of it. So anyway, this moody shot this morning. We have come to one of the white cottages. But not the classic shot. Well, not yet anyway. We've come that bit higher. There's going to be no sunrise, but we're hoping the light is going to break through all this mood. But this mood is fantastic. Just, just adds that little bit, little bit of something else into it. Anyway, composition wise, I'm on a vertical orientation, looking at this path all the way down. Got this tree just here on the right hand side, the cottage on the left hand side, the bridge taking you over and all the way through. So, it is a F16 on 10 seconds at minute, so it is quite a long exposure is this. Obviously it is before sunrise and it is the rain's just started to come. So anyway, I'll bomb this first one up for the time being. I'm gonna go quite wide as well because there's another little tree to the right, so it'll be two trees, the bridge, this little tree down here, and hopefully get most of that menacing towering mountain in the background of the back of the cottage. So yeah, at first but first image anyway, I'll bob this vertical one up, I'll come back to you in a little bit. I've done a horizontal as well from this bit, but I've just slightly moved over to the right hand side just so I can get this path more coming in from the left hand side so it actually brings you in from the, through the image and down to the bridge so we'll through the viewfinder just get this cloth out of your way turn it down for you so there you go, this next one you see the path comes from the left hand side right at the corner of the image taking you all the way through to the bridge. What I will probably do, we'll do, probably do a panel a bit later on and horizontal on this one, but what we're doing at the minute is just waiting for the light. So yeah, we're all just waiting for just a bit of light now because obviously it is pre-sunrise, so everything is nice and blue, although nice and wet. <laughs> we have got a bit of hill fog and hill mist just down the left hand side. Yeah, got serious mood this morning. Right peeps, as you can see, the hood is back off, means one thing, that drizzle has stopped. So what I've been doing, I've come over like a bit further, like I said earlier, just getting this path so it comes in from the left hand side, just down here, leads you down. So I've done a vertical shot with that one, just with this tree, and the horizontal shot, taking into account this waterfall at the right hand side. So I'll bother them up for you now. I'm going to get set up with a pano. I'm going to see if I can do a 180 degree pano. All the way across, come across here. So these guys are shooting as well. So it's going to get all the mood round here, gets this tree line in, all the mood in the valley coming across, and also gets these waterfalls in. <laughs> Whether it works or not is going to be a bit debatable, but I'm going to try it. If you don't try, you won't know. If you don't come to these locations that often, like we don't, I think it was two years since we went up the other side. So this is. A new location, a classic location as such. So if you don't try it, you'll never know. So if it's worked, which you'll know because I'll put it up next before I even know because I'm not home yet. So yeah. Now does that make sense? Never does, does it? So I'll bob it up now for you. Right, 
right peeps I've just had the drone up so I'll put a bit of drone footage on for you which I think you'll enjoy but for the time being I'm now going to head down and try a classic view of the house well a take on a classic view let's say so yeah well I will start and walk down there now I'll leave you this little bit of a drone footage <laughs> Right peeps, I've come down to the classic. As you can see, the bridge is just up there, but we're not going to take it from the side of the bridge. Come down under the bridge, and by getting under the bridge, you get rid of the little hut that's behind the white house. I'll put a bit of b-roll on for you, and then you'll see what I mean. But, I am in, the house is roughly banging at the centre at the minute. I've got the valley on the right hand side, Craig's just this side here, so once he's done I'll go around there a little bit. But, I've got my pouring eyes on to darken this water down. We've got all this nice flow just here on the left hand side. On the diagonals of the camera, it just mirror that big mountain slope at that side. There's a nice bit of a mist and move right over top of the house at the minute. So that is just adding that little bit of something extra. So, I'll put this one up on landscape. I am going to try and do a vertical version of it as well. Cropped in a little bit tighter, just while there's this mood behind to it. Gives you that something else. So yeah, I'll bob these two on now for you. over the bridge it brings out this little path here which takes you on the walk right up but on this path here I've got these little cobbles on a vertical orientation which adds a little bit of extra something to the image I've got a house just there we are low enough just so you don't get the show we up here you can see the ridge line there of the second house so coming down a bit lower on your tripod gets rid of that so we've got these stones and we've got the house there. I'll show you the back of the camera. Just darken that down for you. There you go. That's the composition there. So the house in the trees, we've got the ridge line coming down and the ridge line in the mist at the other side as well. So yeah, another white house. Probably one of the most famous white houses in Glencoe. But there's one more shot I'm gonna try and take, which is an old bridge pole. 
it's part of an old bridge now, let's say. So when I get there, I'll bobby back up. But for the time being, I'll put another little bit of drone footage on for you and the images from this one. Right peeps, we're just making his way up to the little bridge, but this has just grabbed my eye. Just this little arrow head here, just with the white house against that boarding backdrop, backdrop with them misty clouds and that all those low clouds and everything. So on a vertical orientation, I'm not even gonna try a horizontal because I don't think it'll work. There's just too much blank space on that left hand side. But with these reeds and the break, it sort of the river brings you down, the stream brings you down into the river, that brings you all the way around. If it was a bit more a bit more water, then yeah, it'd have it'd have that extra little bit of something. But for me, with these reeds in the foreground leading out, it, it does add something. <coughs> so just let me know your thoughts below. Classic location, but making another classic location your own. So yeah. I bob this one on as we're still trying to get to the bridge. <laughs> so yeah, I bob this one for you now. Right peeps, I've got to the old rickety bridge and look at it. But I'm on a vertical orientation, not including this rusty part at the minute, just including this bit here. So it takes you straight down. The back takes you straight down there into that forboarding background. Then the house is just on the little left hand side. I've got the polarizer on, just to darken down, put it through the viewfinder. There you go. Darken that down for you. There you go, that's roughly the composition. I've got the polarizer on just to darken it down a touch, just so you can see that water's not reflecting the sky. But yeah, a very nice, very nice image indeed. I'm moving now to a horizontal version and on this one I'm just clipping the edges not taking into account that girder so but I'll do another version of it as well for you I think you see the difference but yeah look at that for the view so you've got the leader lines of the old bridge the back of that runs down into the river and then the white house and that backdrop so what I'll do I'll end with all the final images now as always please give us the old thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please like and subscribe and i'll leave it all with you now i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching and bye for now <laughs>